Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today this is a video for a fella who got a Fela 182 on his radio. And what a Fela 182, uh, when that flashes across the screen, that means that the code plug has come become corrupted. And if you get other fail codes on your radios, uh, like a 0190, uh, that would be uh, probably in most most cases, if a UCM module was taken out and they didn't uncheck secure and rewrite to the radio, it would show a fail 0182, and the radio would the radio would start with please wait on it. So. Uh, there's a few things that you can get. I think it's still... I'm trying to look, and I just don't... Yeah, I see it. Okay. There's uh, Spectre fail codes. I'm going to put them in, a link in the description. And I thought they were gone, but there's another decoder, an Acre Dam flash code decoder, that I believe is back up. And at least I think I decoded something not long ago. And I think it's back up. But anyway, uh, if you get fail codes, what you do is you just go in to that uh, Spectra sheet and it will tell you what the fail codes mean, whatever the fail code is. And it will actually give you a solution on how to fix it. But a fail 0182 is usually during the write process when you're trying to write to the radio, the uh, the there can be voltage drops on your computer if you're running programs in the background. That's another problem. What you need to do is when you actually read and write to a radio, number one, you need a good cable. Those $22 China cables do not do the trick. I mean, they might, okay, they might do the trick for programming the radio. But if you want to do a firmware upgrade, it's a very, very, very uh, bad idea to not use an OEM Motorola cable. Now, I know those things are about 200 bucks and they're awful expensive. There are other cables around. I'm going to put one in the description. Uh, I think it's, it's got a chip, an interface chip, and it is a USB cable. It goes from the radio and it's a cable that has an internal chip in it. Uh, and it goes right into the USB. And everybody that I've uh, talked to who have used those cables, and I've talked to so many of them, uh, no problems at all. So, but if you're going to do a firmware upgrade, you're silly not to. The firmware upgrades are a hundred bucks. If you're going to do a firmware upgrade, the last thing you want to do is have it fail, because if that fails. Uh, your radio is pretty much toast. I mean, there are ways that you might be able to revive it, but you don't you don't want that. But a fail 0182 is just a corrupted code plug. So the voltage drops can happen. If you have a cheap cable, that can do it. If you have an old computer, uh, the drivers aren't all up to speed, that can do it. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can get in the way. Uh, but if you have a good cable, uh, you should be able to, and if you have the proper equipment, you should be able to program it with no problem. Uh, let me see, is there anything else? Uh, when you first plug the radio into the computer, when you first get it, <coughs> read the radio, and then go, and go up to File, and go down and save as, save that code plug, like to your desktop or to a folder, something where you know where it is, because if you do get a fail 0182 on a radio and you've done programming to it and you're not sure about the programming or whatever the case, uh, you can always go and open that code plug and you can clone uh, by going into, into tools. It's on, the, it's on the top of the CPS, you can go into tools and you can go down to cloning, you go to clone radio, and a little box will pop up. And you click read radio, and you give it a moment, and it reads. And you'll know it reads because it'll give you the, 
the computer uh, tones, uh, but it will put your radio serial number in the box. Then it will give you another tone that it's ready to be programmed. You click program radio, just like you would click write radio. Okay, so it's trying to program if you're in write mode or if you're in just the cloning mode. And it doesn't take, whatever you do, do not turn the radio off. Do not take the cable out. Do not mess with the, your, your computer. Do not turn it, do not shut the computer down. Don't do anything. Leave it plugged in. What you need to do is you need to, if you're cloning, you need to go back up, go ahead and OK it, and it'll say fail, 0182 on it. With everything still plugged in, the good battery, make sure you have a good battery, but go back up to programming, or go back up to program radio, and you click it again, and if you're doing just a regular read and write, you go to write radio and you click it, and it will try to write to the radio, but it'll put up a box that says hardware failure. Just don't worry about that. There's an OK box right below that. Just click OK. What it does is it overwrites the, uh, the fail 0182 and it just rewrites your code plug back into the radio. And you may need, if depending on how old your radio is, if your radio has been banged around, whatever the case, you know, it can take up to two, two or three times. But you need to keep your radio plugged in. You need to keep a full battery on your radio when you're working on them, any kind of computer work on them. Uh, but maintain power and go back in and just click right. And when it says hardware failure, click OK and it'll start the write process all over again. Now, if you've got a bad code plug, or if you suspect you do, and you think it's got errors, you can avoid the errors when you're ready to write. All you need to go up is go up to View, and then you go to Invalid Fields, and you click Invalid Fields, and that box will pop up, and if there's any invalid fields in there, any conflicts, you can click on those, and it will take you right to the conflict. But it will tell you if it has conflicts in it. If you don't see anything in there, go ahead and rewrite it and you shouldn't have a problem. But if not, you're going to have to have the radio reflash. You're going to lose all your programming. It's a pain in the butt. So you've got to take steps. To, oh, you can, always, and you can always revert back to the original code plug with everything still plugged in. And you can open up another program and you can go clone that one and that one will also revive the radio. So that's the way it works. Uh, I hope I explained that right. It's been a very, very long day and I've got a busy, busy day uh, and evening ahead of me. So hope you guys are doing well. I hope I explained that. I hope it made sense. Uh, I think it did. Take care guys and later on. Hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.